we've been covering parts of the election on this channel and today we have another video that we want to present to you guys with amber rose speaking at the rnc convention is un it's unusual to see amber rose at a convention like this but welcome to that's a bad podcast where we talk about business entrepreneurship and technology we're gonna go ahead and get into the video no more wasting time let's get into it hello my name is Amber Rose. I'm a model and entrepreneur. Thank you. But most importantly, I'm a mother. Oh, my whole Amber world Rose. revolves around providing for my children, keeping them safe, today. and giving them an opportunity for a better life. That's something that unites all American parents. Whether we're Republicans, Democrats, conservatives, or liberals, we all want to better. Now, I'm, I'm going to say this off the back. She started out with talking about us being united as parents to me that's my platform that's that's the foundation of my platform is being united as parents um to me in order to have a good community you need to have good families you need to have good families that have made up of uh, of of good individuals that have a a, a family oriented foundation and if you can have a good community you can have a good city and if you can have a good city you can have a good state and a good country and so on and so forth but the foundation of it all is family so anytime i hear somebody in politics excuse me and i don't know if amber rose is getting into politics we'll see by the end of this speech how well she does excuse me but anybody that talks about a foundation and a unity based on the fact that we're parents i'm all for that our country for our children. But I'm here tonight to tell you, no matter your political background, that the best chance we have to give our babies a better life is to elect Donald Trump President of the United States. Now you may be I'm not gonna lie, Amber Rose is fine. I don't care what nobody say. Amber Rose is fine. I know her, her past look crazy, but she she she's still fine. I don't even know how old she is, but yeah, she she got it. She walking with one. Wondering why I'm up here telling you this. I'm no politician and I don't want to be. But I do care about the truth. And the truth is that the media has lied to us about Donald Trump. I know this because for a long time I believed those lies, so I'm here to set the record straight. The first person I knew who supported Donald Trump was my father. I was shocked. My entire family is racially diverse, and I believe the left-wing propaganda that Donald Trump was a racist. And that's one thing I want to say. You guys remember back in the day, about four, three and a half years ago, when people said that they supported Donald Trump? how much division that caused and created in just one family. I mean, from my experience, I have aunties and uncles and cousins and, you know, my parents and my siblings and some people in the family, they were for Donald Trump and some people were for Joe Biden. And some of these people lived in the same household and you wouldn't believe how much division it created for somebody else in the household voting for Donald Trump. They it, it was looked at like they were crazy. It it was looked at like they were just I mean, I'm 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 kind of on that side of it too. Uh four three and a half, four years ago, I'm like, man, you really thinking about voting for Donald Trump? I mean, I respect your wishes, but that's interesting. You know, my my pop, he 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 was thinking about voting Donald Trump. I, I don't think he stuck with his decision. I think he ended up voting for Joe Biden. I'm not sure I had to ask him, but, he, you know, he was talking about Trump in ways that he actually liked him. And, you know, I just remember how much division was being created in the households of the same family. And it's even interesting to see how people of the same family could have opposing political beliefs but and i say that because political beliefs are strong and core values and 
fundamental in some in some ways. And to see that you have one family that has fundamental disagreements and fundamental uh, differently core values. That might that might that might have something to do with why we as a culture may be struggling to create families with each other with each other. You know, our core values in a lot of ways are not lining up with each other. It may be something to pay attention to. My father said, no, he's not, Amber. What are you talking about? And when I insisted, he said, prove it. So to prove my father wrong, I did my research and looked into all things Donald Trump. People have to do their research. I watched all the rallies, and I started meeting so many of you, his red hat wearing supporters. <laughs> I really and you know what happened with Amber Rose, where she was against Trump, and now she's turned pro Trump. A lot of people are experiencing this. A lot of people are experiencing this 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 new red wave, if you want to call it, going across the country. And it's interesting to see how people from three and a half years ago could be so against somebody to where now they're pro somebody. And I don't even know if it's because people like Trump that much. Uh, some and that and that's what you have to keep in mind when you're talking to people. You know, just because someone is wanting to vote Republican does not mean that they support Trump. They just might have more conservative values that they believe in, and, and Trump is on the conservative side of the the ticket. So you got to keep in mind that just because somebody is you know voting Republican does not mean that they support Trump, but. A lot of people could also be just voting against Democrats or voting against Joe Biden um, and still not necessarily be pro Trump. They, they just want to, you know, not have those liberal values or uh, Joe Biden inside of the White House because they think that the, the economy would do better with a different president or, you know, even if they replace Joe Biden at the top of the ticket with somebody else. You know, that that may sway some of the voters because I don't think they realize some of the voters that are, you know, quote unquote, voting for Trump. They're not voting for Trump because they're pro Trump. They're just voting because they're voting against Biden. You know what I mean? So who knows? Guys, Donald Trump and his supporters don't care if you're black, white, gay or straight. It's all love. This AI tool will take your oh, idea. All right, man. So they got this. We're going to let the ad run. A complete book, complete with design, image. And that's when it hit me. These are my people. This is where I belong. <laughs> so I let go of my fear of judgment of being misunderstood, of getting attacked by the left, and I put the red hat on too. Thank you. Love you too. I never felt more free and more love for my country than I do now. I want to thank my father, who's in the audience tonight, for opening my eyes. He served over 20 years in the U.S. military. Thank you for your service, Dad. I love you so much. Thank you. When I met the president and Melania for the first time, he was kind and generous and funny as hell. <laughs> Very funny. The first lady was gracious and smart with a smile that will brighten up any room. If you're watching this tonight, you know our country is in trouble. Just like me. When you go to the store and buy food for your family, you're shocked. When you fill up your gas tank, you're pissed. I know I am. <laughs> Touching on that inflation.
and when you turn on the news, you are just exhausted. Inflation is out of control, and you know in your heart it was not like this under Donald Trump. My message to you tonight comes from a humble place. The left told me to hate Trump, and even worse, to hate the other side, the people who support him. When you cut through the lies, you realize the truth. American families were better when Donald Trump was president. Hey, you know, um, now the way it's interesting to see how these politicians, they they utilize people from the culture. And I'm not going to lie. I think that the Republicans, they need this. They need Amber Rose more than she needs them because the Republicans have a big problem with tapping into the culture, you know, to the people. And just as how the the Democrats use people like Kim Kardashian, now the Republicans, you know, can utilize uh, Amber Rose when she when it comes to tapping into the culture and she's actually doing a very good job speaking. Uh, when I saw the first part of this, I, I was surprised to see how well she was speaking at something like this at a, a, a major event. So a lot of people are wondering if she's going to have a political future. I guess that's going to remain to be seen. We were safer, wealthier and stronger. A vote for Donald Trump is a vote to put money back in our pockets and good food on our kids' plates. Yes. <laughs> or, as Trump would say, it's a vote to make America great again. Thank you so much. I mean, it's fascinating to, to have her as a speaker there. I think she has some 20-odd million Instagram followers. 23 million Instagram followers. So I just have to say, the stagecraft, the sequencing of this, this whole moment tonight, this is what Donald Trump does best. He's the producer in chief, the, him walking out, Lee Greenwood playing. And then first you're hearing from an everyday American talking, but then a social media influencer with 23 million followers who young people are looking at and young voters are up for grabs this election. Throw in there also, Donald Trump is now a meme everywhere. You know, best not miss if you're going to shoot the king. Like, this is what is on TikTok. This is what... Best not miss if you're going to shoot at the king, man. Let me know in the comments if y'all know what movie that's from. That's from... Or not from a movie. It's from a TV show. That's one of my favorite TV shows called The Wire. Best not miss if you shoot at the king. So, anyway, how'd you guys think Amber Rose did in her speech at the RNC? I think she did pretty good. Uh, she got a lot of good feedback from all the analysts and the political pundits. It's going to be interesting to see how Amber Rose is utilized throughout the Trump administration with those 23 million followers. So if this video resonated with you guys, make sure you give me the like and subscribe. Also, make sure you guys check the comments in the description for the link to our mastermind community so that you can tap in with me inside of our community and groups. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video.